Mother interrupts Texas school board meeting to rant about anal sex fly height. Dope, sure. Uh, let me make sure this isn't toss. Uh, which, there's two videos. I think this is a yeah, this is a radio show and this is the raw video, I think. Okay. For the boys, pussy or the idea of pussy. Or yeah. The idea of, idea of pussy. F a fuck Mexican yeah. Is a Mexican is a oh. Mexican. What? Take her out back, we boys figured, then hand on the titties. Put it in her coin box, put it in her cornhole, mm -hmm. grab a hold of that braid, rub that calico. Okay, well, so find that out <laughs> slow down. I didn't know we were coming in so hot. God damn. All right, now you're speaking my language. Page 39 of the book called Out of Darkness, which you can find at Hudson Bend Middle School and Bee Cave Middle School. It's about time. That's right. quality reading. I'm not going to lie. I had to Google cornhole because I had the game in the back of my yard. But according to Wikipedia, <laughs> Did you like what you found? is a sexualist slang vulgarism for anus. The term came into the use in the 1910s of the United States. Wow, that's old. Form to Cornhole, it's like back during the Bible. The usage in the 1930s means to have anal sex. Yeah. I want my children to learn about <laughs> anal <laughs> sex <laughs> in middle school. I have never had anal sex. Thank I don't want to have. I don't believe. I don't want believe you. Kids Stop. having anal sex. I want you Stop to lying. start focusing on education and not public Earth. health. Stone, public you're health. on. Well, I think it's about time we start talking about cornhole. <laughs> Finally, someone brave enough to talk about real issues. Carabelle and then so what was she? What was that book again? I might want to check that one out. That sounded kind of cool. What was it? Did anyone catch the name of that? One flew over the cuckoo's nest or something, like the hentai. That book sounds fucking awesome. I'd start reading again if books were like that. Can I get that one more time? Track by. Take her out back, we boys figured, then hand on the titties. Put it in her <laughs> coin box, put it in her cornhole, grab a hold of that braid, rub that calico. You can find that on page Feels 39. like she's about to bust out into a freestyle. Uh, a book called Out of Darkness, which you can find at Hudson Bend Middle School and Bee Cave Middle School. Is that like the Scholastic Book Fair? Out of the Darkness. You might need to pay a visit to that. Let's take a peek. Out of the Darkness book. It's a young adult novel by Ashley Hope Perez. Published in 2015. It has now been pulled. Oh my god, she ruined it for everyone. Out of Darkness pulled for review in Central Texas middle schools. Hey, thanks lady. What am I gonna fucking jerk off to tonight? Unre- unfucking real. God rest its soul. Hand on the titty. Tongue in the cornhole, or whatever she said. I wonder if there's anything else from this book. I'm just kind of reading about it real quick. Give me a second. She ran an unsuccessful campaign for a seat on the LTISD. I don't know what that is. And she was also issued an assault citation after pushing a Nordstrom employee after refusing to put on a mask. Yeah, that checks out. But apparently this seems very common with this area in particular. Central Texas has become a hotspot for book challenges over the last few years. Notably, Leander Independent School District is continuing its battle over a wide list of adult, young adult and adult titles in its middle and high school. The district has removed a number of titles and it has police called about books on the shelf. And had a board member resign after being unable to exert more authority in book removal. Imagine calling 911 because a book talks about uh, hand-on titties and cornhole. The next video is her being cited. This one. A mask showdown. At it was on April 7th when Kara Bell, started <laughs> running for the Travis County School Board, took a trip to North Stamara. Let's go! On Brody Lane. According to a I tell you, you read Out of Darkness one time different. and you get obsessed with butthole. Gotta find fucking cornhole anywhere you can find it. Because Bell refused Go to hunting. wear a mask upon entry in the store. Damn. When police arrived, she was still in the dressing room, on the phone. Probably in there masturbating to Out of Darkness. You need to come on, let's go. Give her a minute. Bell was then escorted outside. Bell. Ooh, let's go. Her ID. Ma'am, do you have an ID on you? Officers then detained her on the ground and put her in handcuffs. Oh, you can't stop her. You can only hope to contain her. To other people in the area. She's too powerful. You understand that? 
I will not have it. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of being lied to. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to happen anymore. Do you understand? Yeah. The fuck CDC yeah. The CDC just released... Oh my, oh, good Jesus. oh my gosh. No, Facebook group is going to go insane. Bell was given an assault citation, which is a class C misdemeanor. Hey, punishable Kara. by a fine of up to $500. Man, what an interesting story. Uh, if I may, let me look a little bit deeper for a couple out of darkness excerpts as well. How did she even find this page? It doesn't even seem like this book is about titties. Like the age range, the age range for the book is 14 to 17. Like, I don't even know how she found this. She just fucking stole the book from her son. Give me that. Oh. What a letdown. She overhyped that book. That's the best marketing this book could have ever gotten. But the book does not seem very good. Alright, we'll move on. I'm very disappointed.